Today we are racing everything versus everything. We're racing the power wheels, we're racing the full-size builds. The track is all tuned up. We've even got a new stadium finish, jump finish line. It's gonna be rowdy. You it's a girl. Today we are racing on our homemade backyard rally circuit, which starts underneath the treehouse bridge and quickly hits a steep left berm and exits into a relatively straight bit of track that gives you a lot of speed for this big sweeping left. Which brings us to the scariest part of the track, which is a super steep, rocky downhill section, followed by a sweeping left that you can gain speed for the uphill section. And at the very top of this, you have a very steep last minute left turn, slight right into the finish line, which is the very tip of this jump. Oh, I can't wait to see that Ranger jump. Premium. Starts like a Ford. Actually really good. 2930 is like Sendy's best lap time ever. But that's why we've got to race everything today because this track is not really comparable to what it used to be. It's James. a lot better. I've spent so much time on the berms and corners. That was fun. Yeah, this thing is so gutless though. That was like pedal to the floor coming up here and it was just bleh. DNF. Yeah, second vehicle on track, first DNF. Yeah, the throttle table broke. Yeah, that will do it. And I couldn't get into second gear. We could do the Ute. Yeah. That'd be fun. And the I'm, Ute's gonna, yeah. I'm the Ute's gonna shred. The design did not work, and it uh, ripped our strut out, as you can see. I love how both shots are just like yeah. dragging so you can, back. You can see right here, they just, these rubber things just tore out. Yeah. There's supposed to be a washer on top that keeps it from being able to tear that didn't fit, and we didn't consider that when we put it back together. That thing's actually, does good. Maybe we should uh, have Tim and Max hit the track. I'm ready. Might have to close the roof hand first. Do we? I would. Not bad at all. Everything working still? I think so. So far the um, timber quad is winning. So time to see if I can beat it on 
This thing! No, I... I bet you something that I put on so long. If you're starting to come see this, I bet you something. Oh, shoot! The track is gone, bro. Oh no! It is. Oh, gee, done. Oh man. Oh no! Look at this. It wrapped the tensioner around the axle. One of the tracks is over there. This one's on top of that How one. How did that even happen? What happened? Well, it looks like maybe the lug nuts just stripped out, or like because these lug nuts are no two. One of them sheared, and three of them are gone. This is premium damage. I thought like the fuel filter popped off, like, no. but no. Let's just lift it up and try to pull it out there. That is heavy, wow. There's no lug nuts left, so my guess is they loosened up and fell off. Well, that's a lot more stable than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly. Max just got done recovering me with the uh, third DNF of the day. Uh, that's three for, like, we're at a 50% success rate right now. Hopefully that goes up. Max has just got his truck all shiny and perfect, and now he's gonna take it around the track and hopefully not break it. Man, I really don't want a breaker. Basically, we've realized if I go off the jump with my alignment being the way it is, it's gonna blow the fenders off, and then Sammy just spent his weekend wrapping this thing. The fender's gone, the wrap is gone, and, and our friendship is, is destroyed. <laughs> Oh, not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Woo hoo. This is the uh, local watering hole where if you get too, <laughs> where if you get too hot, you just lay in it. And then you get really cold really quick. By local watering hole, Edwin just means, you know, the creek that flows through the edge of my property. And we picked the hottest day of the year so far to like, be standing out in the sun all day instead of working in the shaded shop. While Cindy cools off a little bit for her maiden lap, I'm gonna get a lap time in the cyber quad. It might be the slowest lap, but I think I will finish. And I'm gonna have side wheelie for a good portion of the lap, so I think that counts for something, right? Oh, side wheelies count for everything. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go any slower or faster because I'm side wheeling, but we're about to find out. All oh, these jerseys are so nice. All right, we have no front suspension. This is sketchy! Oh no! I still hear that little motor kicking. He didn't get in an accident yet, so that's good. I was kind of scared about the hill. Oh, he's coming. Oh wait, what? it made it up the hill? He's gonna hit the jump. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there'll be any airborneness, but... Dude, no way! You're going so fast! You can do it! You can do it! Yeah! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> One minute, 21 seconds, 0.85. Hey, that's a tiny bit faster than when we towed the car around with the Unimog. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a good time, dude. Six 
6.65. Well, we've used this as a recovery vehicle and we towed the BMW around the track. We don't know how fast this thing goes. Time to find out. Thirty-six point ninety-four. Like, that's pretty comparable to Tim and Max, honestly. <laughs> I mean, he's close, and he's in a Unimog. Brake stopped working. Thirty-six point ninety-four. That um, is ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. Thirty-six in this? That's only. Yeah. You yeah. were hauling, dude. You were cruising. I could have done better if it had power steering too. You are going quick. Like you saw me come out of that corner all sorts of wonky because uh -huh. I couldn't s correct the steering. Yeah, did I catch air? Sure. Nice. Yeah. That was fun. Is this about what you expected from the day? <laughs> I think we uh, expected right, to be you, ridiculous. We're at the point of exhaustion and now it's just going to be beyond dumb and stupid if you're wondering why our video suddenly got took a really weird turn it's because max and tim are here filming a uh, filming an ad and uh as you can tell it's a very ridiculous ad that's very uh free to me <laughs> it's not my proudest moment <laughs> we're gonna settle this like men on the track american style We get 26.36. Dang! That is crazy. I think that might have just beat my record on the Barbie Jeep. So here's your does. time, 26.65. Yep. So you, I beat you, 26.3. You That's ridiculous. That's All awesome. All right, well, I'll do my second lap and we'll see if it's faster. He hit that corner faster this time, yeah, I think. He, yeah, he might be this part. Oh yeah, he's going Holy be smokes. No way. No way. Twenty five point ninety six. That is ridiculous, dude. You cut about a half second. Twenty five point nine six. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I said I yeah. bet I could take off half a second. That's ridiculous. Oh, that was. That was fast, like, that was ridiculously fast. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to beat that in the kernel, like, that's sketchy fast yeah. already. He's cooking it. This is probably going to be the fastest. That was a huge jump! That was an amazing jump. Sadly, that's actually a third place run. What was the time? 27.23. Yeah, that one was fairly slow. I was yeah. kind of warming up to it.
Well, now he's just having too much fun. Yeah, now he's just he's in the he's in the zone. That was amazing. Oh, that was crazy. What was the second lap? Twenty six oh six. So so still place. faster than the uh, yeah second place. Yep. Yeah, dude, it was so quick that I was filming from over there on the other side of that corner to start, and I could barely run over to the jump in time for you to do it. <laughs> dude, that is nuts. There you have it. That's the podium for the first ever grind hard track day rally session everything versus everything race and we got first place second place third place and will honestly i don't think i could beat will's time in the barbie jeep that was a very good time especially after trying to beat it in these two but and only well i beat it by a little over half a second so shout out to tim muniz for coming up and shout out to max powell go check out his youtube channel he's always doing cool stuff